Alright, this is for tax review to 2000, the 2000, April 2009 test. Uh, so number one says, Ms. Ugali has an 80-acre farm. 30 acres are used for corn, 18 for soybeans, and 10 for wheat. The remaining are used for planting oats. So first I've got to find how many oats are we going to be planting. So you have to add up 38 plus the 18 plus the 10. Give you 66. All right. So 66. So 80 minus 66 gives us 14. So we be 14 acres of oats. All right. Now we got to figure out what pie graph is that. So we look at number one. It says soybeans is the most, but soybeans is not the most. Soybeans is 18. So that's scratched off right away. C. Corn is 38, which is almost like half. So that looks okay. Oats and wheat. I mean, oats and soybeans. So oats is 14 and soybeans is 18. So this is wrong because soybeans needs to be bigger than oats. So this is wrong. B, corn. Okay. Again, this is showing like corn is 50%, but it's okay because 10 is 38. Soybeans is 18 and it says wheat is 10. No, it's just 14. So this one's kind of a bit, maybe, kind of, sort of. But we're not sure yet. Let's look at the other one D. It's corn, oats, wheat, soybeans. So oats and wheat. So both these oats are bigger than the wheat. Both these soybeans are bigger than the rest. But it's more of D. Because this one here, which is straight down, means this is 50% of the farm. 50% of 80 acres is 40. And 40 is not 38. So the answer is D. Uh, number two. Number two says... This is the focus. Which point of the number line... Below is farthest from the square root of 6. So you plug in your calculator square root of 6. You know it's going to be between here somewhere. So which one's further away? Well, this is pretty obvious. Q, which is F. So you got to know what square root of 6 is. You just use your calculator and furthest away. So that one's pretty easy. That one's given. Number 3. Which graph best represents the relationship of the table below? It gives you the x values and your y values. So we just plug them in. So we have x is at negative 2, y is at 2. So when x is negative 2, so a, there's there's no negative 2 points. So a is wrong. All right, let's look at c. Negative 2, negative 1. Okay, those are seem to be right. 0, okay, 1. Positive 1 is here. There's no points there. So that's wrong. Like the next one. B. You have negative 2 is 2, which is, looks okay. 1 is 4, looks good. 2 is 6, 2 is 6. Alright, so this one is maybe, maybe. This one looks really, really good. I look at D. Uh, 0 is at 2. 0 is at 2, okay. Negative 1 is at zero and this was not it so it's definitely b so make sure to check again so let's check our points zero two one and six so zero and two zero and two is there one and four and two and six negative one and zero negative one and zero is there so it's b we're four the graph if the graph of y is equal to 19x squared plus 31 is translated up 50 units, which of the following equations will best describe the resulting graph? Alright, so translate it up just means that if you have an equation that looks like this and you translate it up, it means you're just going to move it up whatever space to tell you. It's still going to keep the same shape, it's just going to be higher. So you move it up a few spaces and it's going to look like this. So here it says you're going to add 15 units. So you're going to move it up 15. So 31 
plus 15 is 46. So our new equation is y is equal to 19x squared plus 46. So the answer is h. So you do not mess with the 19x. If they were say make it, if it was like wider or narrower, then yes, we'll mess around with the 19. But as it says translate it up, so we only mess around with that one. Uh, restaurants sold a total of 418 large and small burgers during the one day. Total hamburger sales were 1077. Large hamburger sold for three, and small hamburger sold for 150. Which is the linear equation can be used to find L number large sold and S. So it's pretty much you have to set up. You have to set up an equation to solve for how many were how many were sold. Okay, so it says the total. So the restaurant sold a total of 118 large and small burgers. Total of 118 large, small, and large burgers. So we know large plus small must equal 418. So right away we can cancel that one. We can cancel that one as well. Because it's just telling us the amount of large burgers, the amount of small burgers is equal to 418. Alright, the next is saying three. One large burger was sold for three dollars, and the small was sold for five fifty. And the total sales were ten seven thousand seventy seven. So this has to equal to ten seventy seven. So which one of these is left? Three L plus one fifty S. The answer is B. Number six. Which table below shows the number of line segments that can be drawn between a given point? Right. Which expression can be used to determine the number of said line segments that can be drawn between n points? So pretty much we have to come up with a formula. So we're saying for two points, it's one. For three, it's three. For four, it's six. So the easiest way to do it is to plug in answers and see and we get the right thing. So if we plug in 2 to these equations, we have to get 1. So plug in 2, 3 halves times 2 is 3. So this is, that's wrong. Because 3 times 2, the 2 is canceled, is equal to 3. And 2 is 1, so that's wrong. N minus 1, 2 minus 1 is 1, so that's right. H, 2 squared minus 2N times 2. So that's 4 minus 4, which is 0, which is not that. Next one is J. 2 times 2 minus 1 divided by 2. 2 is cancel. You get 1. All right. So this, so you're now left with G and H. G and J. Now let's go to the biggest one, 4. Plug in 4, you have to get 6. So plug in 4. 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. It's not 6. So that's wrong. Let's go to J. 4 times 4 minus 1 divided by 2. The 2 cancel the 4, you're left with a 2. So you're left with 2 times 3, which is equal to 6. So the answer is J. N minus N minus 1 divided by 2. 